All right, it is that time of year again for us. We have a big order of chickens coming in once again. I know that you guys have been seeing a lot of chickens. These chickens are a little different. These aren't the ones that are going to be our egg layers. This is going to be 25 meat chickens that we need to prepare for that are coming to our house here in just a little bit. We ordered them from the mail. We've actually ordered from this hatchery the last time that we did meat chickens. They're locally here in Michigan. Their name is Town Line Hatchery if you're interested. And it's always exciting to see the baby chicks once again. A little nerve wracking through the mail always. We did go pick them up from the post office now. We are home. And it's time to open this thing up and get ready to show these guys their new home. It's gonna be a little loud to talk over all these chickens in here, but as you can see, they put all of them in the one side and none inside this side. That's so that when they travel, they are able to get a little bit closer together and keep warm, because it's important for chicks that they're as warm as possible. It does sometimes lead to some sad results, which I see one in here, unfortunately. I'm not gonna get you guys too close up of a look, but unfortunately it looks like the one didn't make it. I don't know if it was trampled on, cold, you never know what happens, so. Unfortunately, we lost one, so let's see how many they actually sent us. We ordered 25. Let's count them up. So you can see this time we went with the tote option. That's just because it is definitely cheaper. We've got a really big tote. Uh, this was maybe like 30 bucks or something like that. So for 30 bucks, we got a tote that fits all these chicks right now. It is a little bit of a tight fit, but they all fit in there. And it works just fine. It's really easy to clean out. It's because since it's the plastic, we don't prefer it. But I did want to show that we're okay to do this. I know a lot of people always ask us what we do. Well, how do we raise our chicks? What do we use them in? We've never really used the tote option before, but it is nice to be able to see them through this like this. And also, as I said, it's definitely your cheap option. If you are to go right behind me, so here's these guys, and if we turn this way, you'll see we have this one right here, which we have six of our older chicks that just hatched out maybe about two weeks ago, two, three weeks ago now. And I know what you're thinking, this looks a lot bigger, but it's just taller. Uh, there's not really much more different size. So that's why they're over in here. This really doesn't have extra room at all. It's about the same size, it's just a lot taller. This is what we usually use as our brooder, but this is the first time that we've ever had two different sets of chicks here at the same time that we needed two separate brooders. So, we have these guys hanging out, and they're all doing really good in there. We're excited for this time, this season. It's definitely the busiest season for a lot of stuff going on, but it's the most exciting season, because this is when it all happens, when everything, you finally get to do all this action. It does get overwhelming, so you gotta be careful sometimes not to overdo it, which, I know that we are feeling a little bit this year more than any of the previous years, but we always try to add on a little extra. And I think last year was a good amount, and now we're realizing like, hey, we just gotta figure it out. Um, just, we do have four kids, so it does make it a little bit harder sometimes. So it's nice and exciting to have all the new chicks here, but we have some big things that we need to do out here today. Starting with moving our pigs, and when I say moving them, just two of them. We're gonna actually separate are two males, the two bigger ones that you'll see on each side, and the two little ones, which are the females. We're going to separate them. We have an area back here for the males where the females will stay in this spot right here. And moving pigs is always 50-50 on how it's gonna go. It can go really smooth or the complete opposite. So we'll cross our fingers for the smooth part. It's our first time ever having to try to just separate a move though, which I think is going to complicate it. Come on, pig. Pig, 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 pig. Always harder than it seems. All right, so we got all four pigs over here, which wasn't the plan. We got to get the two little ones back over. I can carry them, but they don't like it. So it's not really fun to do, but that's 
Probably the only way to get them back to go to the one spot. We got to separate them, unfortunately. It'll be better for their eating. I think the little ones get bodied out a lot when they're eating, so wish me luck. What, your was stuck? Maybe like really bad. Don't separate the middle. The middle is definitely... <laughs> Well, unfortunately, I haven't been able really to grab them, and I'm starting to get tired of it. There's other things we've got to get done today. So we're just going to let all four of them live there for right now, and then we're going to have to find a time to come grab these little ones while they're still little. The next thing we got to do is we got to move this chicken tractor here that's housing six of our new egg layers that we'll be adding to our flock here this year. Before I do that, though, if you haven't noticed already in the video with this hat and now with this shirt... We have officially launched our first series, or whatever you want to call it, of merchandise on our website, acresofadventurehomestead.com. I think we have about maybe four or five different t-shirt options. We have a sweatshirt. You can have a hat right here. And then we also have the winter beanie hat that we've had on our website. All for you guys, and I know a lot of you guys have been asking about if we are going to be doing this and when we are. It is officially there, it is launched now. So if you want your chance to be one of the first ones to get any of them, go to our website right now, acresofadventurehomestead.com. Thank you guys, we would not be able to do that without you guys, we appreciate you, and I hope you guys like it. Make sure to look at my favorite one, it all began with chickens. So now let's move these guys. Unlike meat chickens, we don't have to move this every single day because first of all, they're really young. There's only six of them in there, and also they don't eat as much off the ground than a meat chicken does. They do poop still, and it will be there, so it is good to move it fresh at least once a week at the moment. And we're hoping here maybe in the next few weeks to add them to our main flock so that we don't have to worry about this because we will need this for all the meat chickens that just came in. So let's get these guys moved. It is very nice to see these guys on a nice fresh green grass now. They'll be able to free range a little bit on it now. I probably won't wait as long as I did this past time. I'll probably do this now about every three or four days because they're starting to get a little bit older instead of waiting once a week. If you were to see the grass that they were just previously on and how they destroyed it and what they were actually on in just about one week and now comparing it to the grass that they are on now inside here, it's much better and that's why these chicken tractors are a good idea for someone who maybe doesn't want to free range their chickens necessarily in the sense of it where you have them go everywhere but you also don't want to just keep them confined into one spot where they never move this keeps them confined into one spot but allows you to move them onto fresh grass so that you can feel good that they're not just going to be stuck somewhere they're always getting fresh pasture and you can choose how often you want to move it it just depends on you and depends on the chicken tractor that you built. Chickens moved, check. As you can see, there's that old spot. It is nice to get them onto some of this nice green grass here. We have our pigs here. They are moved. Not completely checked because we do have to separate the males and females here in the next few weeks. We would like to have that done. I don't know if you guys can see <laughs> the one big guy right here. He is actually taking a nap in a little bit of the muddy puddle that's there. Pretty impressive. Pretty impressive when you can sleep just about anywhere. Anybody else like that pig? I actually have that trait. So although this is not where we wanted all four pigs to be for right now, it will go okay and it is nice to see them eating all at this nice green grass that's around. And this hut is actually a little bit bigger than their previous one and should keep them all a little bit more cozier during any kind of storms that we might have coming because we are getting close to storm season. Actually, we kind of are in the middle of our storm season just about going, so. It's good to see the pigs all happy and where they need to go. All right, we are coming back. Let's go look at our little chick friends. Ah. Why? Another one didn't make it. They did give us one extra one, but now that puts us at 24 chickens where we had a plan to hopefully do 25. I mean, I was hoping for 20, but I mean, we're still four above that, I guess, but 
We're gonna go give these guys a proper burial real quick and then we'll come back and finish talking about what I was gonna say with these guys. It's sad seeing a life, especially lives that are so young, not make it. I know that a lot of people like to think because we're raising these animals for meat that we don't care. It still hurts us. It hurts us to see it. You don't want that to ever happen and unfortunately, we are here once again doing another burial of animals that did not make it. These are the Cornish Cross, which if you see any main homesteader or people who run farms, this is going to probably be the most popular chicken that people use when they raise them for meat. We did this our very first time around now about, what is it, two years ago, year and a half ago, and we weren't too excited about it. The look of these chicks when they start to get older, they just... They don't look like the healthiest chickens. So a reason that people like them, let me explain that, is that they grow the fastest rate of all the chickens. So you're gonna be able to have these as chicks, raise them for about eight weeks, and then you're able to put them into the freezer. That's gonna be your quickest turnaround time on about almost any livestock for producing meat. But there's just something that just seems off for us about like the just the ethicalness of them. I don't know if that's a word, but it seems a little unethical, the raising of these chickens for some reason compared to other chickens. We're gonna try a different few things because in the past we've done the chicken tractor, which we will have them in at when they're smaller here. But when they get bigger, we have an idea about trying to let them kind of range a little bit more, but we'll show you guys when we go to do that. And it's just gonna be a new experiment. If it doesn't work out, this will probably be one of the last times that we'll try to use these guys for meat. And we'll probably go with what we did our second time around, which was the Freedom Rangers, Red Rangers. I think they have a few different names. But those chickens seem to be just, they look nicer. The feathers didn't just kind of displace on them. And it takes about 12 weeks, so it's still pretty quick. It takes just one extra month than these guys right here, but... That's gonna be our plan for these guys. We got the pigs hanging out in their new spot, which you guys saw, moving pigs is not always the most fun. Hence why we didn't even get to do exactly what we wanted to with them. We have to actually still separate the two pigs, but they're in a new spot, which is good. These guys are doing good though. They like all the new fresh grass and look how green it is in there and then look under my feet. It was not, it was time to move them. We have our old pig area here that we can probably try to put a little bit of seed in and see if we can get some grass growing here so that when we move back our two pigs, that'll start going. Chelsea started putting some strawberry plants into this raised garden bed. We've normally used those bags right there, but this year we want to try to make them... <laughs> oh, roosters. This year we want to make them sprout a little bit more, so we're going to try them in the raised garden beds. And also today, we dug all this up as in Chelsea did, not me. And we got, we as in Chelsea, put all the potatoes in this line right here. So we got our potatoes in, we moved our strawberries, and we have more stuff coming, which I'll give you a little sneak preview. That's all you get. Well, another busy day out of the way. If you guys don't mind, take one more chance. Go to acresofadventurehomestead.com. Look and maybe see getting any kind of your merchandise that you might want to get. Have a great day and a better tomorrow. We'll see you in the next one.